I was on some random internet website several years ago, and it said that for most people who take calculus, calculus is the hardest math class they will ever take. And I thought, no way. There is no way, right? That's not true. There are so many more harder, more challenging classes after calculus. I mean, it's just the beginning of mathematics, really. I mean, there's so much more. There's so much more math. But then I read it again. For most people who take calculus, calculus is the hardest math class they will ever take. So it's talking about the people who take calculus. And that's true. It's true. I say this from, from experience, from teaching thousands of students and tons of calculus classes. It's true. Most students who take Calc 1, they stop at Calc 1. And then there's a good, a good piece, a good chunk of the students that go on further. And those usually take Calc 2, Calc 3, and sometimes differential equations. But out of all of those classes, Calc 2 is the hardest. So the statement is true. For most people who take calculus, it is the hardest class they will ever take. So, so if you're taking calculus and you're struggling, it's probably the hardest class you'll ever take. Maybe, unless you're a math major, then I'm sorry, it's gonna get harder. But it's good. The challenge is what it's all about, right? The journey, the struggle. In this video, I wanna talk about how you can learn calculus. I just wanna give you some tips, some advice. So let's start with the best way. What is the best way to learn calculus? Like hands down, the number one way to learn calculus. And this is probably not what anyone wants to hear because it's not easy, it's hard, it takes more effort. It's to actually take a class in college. It is, it is the best way, right? But it's harder, right? You have to pay for the class, you have to go to class. There's a grade involved, so there's accountability, which can be a good thing, but then it's kind of forced upon you. So it's not as fun sometimes. But that's the best way is to take a college class. Another way is to take an online class. There's all kinds of websites that sell courses. I have courses I sell. You can check out my website, freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com, or check out the links in the description of this video. If you do get my courses, please use my links. They're for sale on Udemy or Udemy. I'm not sure how to say it, but they have a pretty good platform. And my courses are currently at the bare minimum. Like I've set the price like as low as you can set it. So yeah, check them out. Another way to learn calculus, which is my favorite way, but again, it's not the best way. Courses are better because courses give you structure, is to buy an actual book. So there's all kinds of books you can get to learn calculus. I've got tons of videos on books that you can use for calculus. So I thought for this video, I would just pick a few books, not, not tons, just a few and talk about the importance of each. So the first book you need to learn calculus is one of the big thick books. There's all kinds of authors that write these big thick books. There's Thomas Calculus, there's Larson Calculus, there's Briggs, there's Swakowski. There's so many different authors who write these big thick calculus books. But the one that really stands out, the most popular one in the US and in Canada is Stuart Calculus. I have it right here. This is just the regular Stuart fifth edition it doesn't really matter what edition you get. There's also an early transcendentals version. You can get that one too. It's not going to make a difference. What will matter though is the thickness. See how thick this book is? This book covers calculus one, calculus two, and calculus three in the US. So tons of mathematics. It's not a perfect book. You're going to get stuck, but it's a book that you need. You need to have one of these big thick books because it has everything you need in it. You're going to get stuck though. It's going to be hard. It's not easy. I used the early transcendentals version myself when I was a student. And I remember getting stuck on certain examples and just reading them over and over again. And it just, it just never clicked. I, I didn't get it. So it's not perfect. No book is perfect, but this book has a lot of content and it has really good exercises and it has answers to the odd numbered problems. I'll leave links to all of the books in the description of this video. Then you have some choices. You can get some more modern books. These are workbooks. These aren't actually textbooks. These are written by a guy, his name is Chris McMullen. He has a PhD in physics. And this one's for Calc 1. It also has some Calc 2 topics and it has one Calc 3 topic. This has full worked out solutions and it has lots of examples. So it's a great book and it's cheap. It's not expensive at all. It's really inexpensive. And this one's better, not as popular, but better. This one is for multivariable calculus. 
It's better in my opinion because the examples you find in this book are very valuable. Like you'll find several examples in this book and you'll find maybe one or two in the big thick book I just showed you. So this will really supplement any book you have currently. So it makes it makes it makes a big deal. These books are awesome. They did not exist when I took calculus. Otherwise, I totally would have benefited from those books. One book that did exist when I took calculus was this one here. This one is uh, Essential Calculus with Applications by Silverman. So I bought this book a long time ago when I was a student. And what I found from this book was that the treatment of the material is very different from what you see in the Stewart book. So like there's math in here that you won't see in the Stewart book. Like it was talking about intervals and inequalities. I'm like, oh, this is cool. You know, it had a lot of other math that just it was presented in a different way. You know, it has a different flavor. That's because it's an old book. This is a Dover book, which means it was published by a company called Dover Publications. And they're famous because they basically take old math books and other types of books too, and they reprint them and they sell them uh, at really affordable prices. So this book is super affordable, but you still need one of the big thick books. And if you really want to challenge yourself, if you really want to challenge yourself, you should get a classic book. So I have one here that is very, very famous. I'm going to be very careful with my copy because this was not cheap. This has cost me some money. Uh, this is Calculus. And this is volume one. This is by the legendary Tom Apostle. This is a great book. And I, sh I will I will make a video on this book at some point, uh, a very in-depth video where I go over the book and maybe do some problems from it. But wonderful book, highly recommended. I will leave a link in the description. Excellent. This is not a low effort book. This is much, much harder than all of the other books I showed you. But what a book like this will do is it'll give you a little bit of elegance. It'll just give you, it has a different flavor. You know, it's just, it's a legendary book. It's like, it's like you're holding a masterpiece in your hands uh, when you, when you have a book like this. So wonderful book on calculus. So you're taking a course or maybe now you've got some books and you're ready to learn calculus. So how do you start? Well, you start from the beginning, right? Start at chapter one, right? And just start reading, start reading. And then what you don't understand, you keep trying to understand, and then you just push through it. And you do as many problems as you can, and then you check your answers in the back of the book. And you just keep you just keep grinding forward. The best way, though, is to make sure that you do a little bit every day. So every day, you want to do a little bit of math. So like, let's say tomorrow you want to start. You say, I'm going to start tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to start learning calculus. So instead of saying, tomorrow I'm going to do calculus for half an hour, which is a great goal, which is a great goal, say, tomorrow I'm going to sit down and do some calculus and I'm going to do as much as I can, and I'm going to get started. And since it's your first day, like starting, you're probably going to do a decent amount. The problem will come into play on that second day and on that third day. I know if you make it to the fourth day of consistency, that's when it really starts to break down. That's when people really start to have a hard time. And this is where you need to have the mentality that you want to do at least one math problem, at least one calculus problem, because if you tell yourself you're going to get a pen or a pencil and sit down and do at least one math problem, then chances are you're going to do it. Chances are you're going to have less excuses in your mind. Because if you tell yourself you're going to do at least one problem, you're like, oh, it's only going to take me five minutes to do one problem, so I'll just do a problem really quick. So you get your book, you sit down, next thing you know, you're done with the problem. Then maybe you do one more. Then maybe you do one more. And so it's, it's getting started. It's getting started that people have a hard time with. And so if you if you can get yourself to get started on those days when you don't want to study, that's how you can make it a habit. And then next thing you know, you're doing it every day. But those days will come. Those days where you don't want to do math, those days are going to come back. And again, you just have to have that mentality that you know you, you just want to get started. So those are some tips for learning calculus. And again, I really think the best way is to take a course and if you don't want to take a course, try online courses. And if not, get some books. You can also watch videos and stuff online for free, but having some type of structure that you get from either a course or a book is much, much better than just watching random videos on the internet. So once you have that structure, you know, whenever you do get stuck, you can go online and, you know, seek help. Do you have advice for people watching this video? Any cool stories? You know, how did you learn calculus? What was the best way in your opinion, you know, what worked for you? Whenever you leave comments and stories, cool stories, people will read the comments and those stories and it helps them. And that's a good thing. So yeah, leave a comment 
if you have anything interesting to say. Until next time, good luck and take care.